and we'll explore that miracle later in our service. What must it have been like for Bartimaeus before and after that moment? Alan is going to share with us an imaginary eyewitness account, Bartimaeus's story. Thank you, Alan. My brothers and sisters could see rainbows and flowers. They could jump in puddles and play in the sunlight. At night, they crept out onto the roof and watched the sky fill with stars. But I couldn't do any of those things. My world was always dark. Inside my head, it was just like midnight. Not that midnight was any different to midday to me. I felt useless and lonely and afraid. When I went to bed, I used to pray so hard. Please let me be able to see again. But in the morning, it was just the same. When I opened my eyes, I was still blind. Then one day, someone told me about this man called Jesus, and he was coming our way. They said he was the most amazing person you would ever meet. He said and did such wonderful things. They said I had to meet him. I followed the crowd as best I could to try to hear him. But people pushed me out of the way and ran ahead. They forgot all about me, or they just didn't want me there. I crouched by the side of a wall, and I felt such sadness and anger that I cried. It was the same as always. Life was just so unfair. I cried. And I cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. I said it over and over again. Some were telling me to shut up, but I didn't, I wouldn't. Then suddenly I felt someone in front of me, quite close. For a moment I was frightened. I didn't know who it was. They didn't say anything, not a single word. But then he, and it was he, him, Jesus, he reached out and touched my eyes with his fingers, very gently. All at once, it was as if the darkness went out of my eyes. I stood up and saw things in front of me, no more than shadows at first, but slowly, very slowly, the shadows became a man's hands, and then I saw he was looking right at me, and then one by one, I saw people behind him, many people, a whole crowd. I cried again, but this time they were tears of joy. I was healed, I could see. Jesus' eyes were the first I ever saw, but I'm sure I will never see eyes that are kinder, never in all my life. I went home and that night I saw what I had always dreamed I might see. I saw the stars. Now I'm going to go everywhere, telling everyone what he did and what happened to me. Thank you, Alan. Well, we come to our next song now, and we travel to the southwest tip of India, where the Living Stones Quartet minister to us with the song, Turn Your Eyes upon Jesus and you well know this chorus so do join in each time let's worship together 